it's when someone sees you out with a friend or even a family member and automatically assumes it must be your sugar daddy. Hello amazing you, I hope you're doing well. Welcome to Chat Hour, thanks for returning. And if you are new here, a warm welcome to you. Now, before we delve into this episode, kindly click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that every time I post, you see it. Thank you. Today, we are talking about the assumptions about busty girls. Alrighty, it's story time. I have shared this one a couple of times, but today it's for all my lovely ladies out there who, like me, were blessed a bit extra in the chest department. I want you to know that you're beautiful just the way you are. So, listen up. Once upon a time, I was dating this guy. Everything was fine, or so I thought, until one day. He just looked at me with a serious face and said, You know you should consider getting a breast reduction. Now, if you know me, you know I love my look. I've never had any issues with my body. I'm comfortable, absolutely comfortable in my skin. And I don't need anyone else telling me what's best for my body. Here is the kicker though. This dude asked me out. Oh, I didn't ask him out. Imagine that. He chose me out of the millions of women. All with their unique looks and personalities. And he landed here. And here he was telling me what I should change about myself. Like, ha, huh, where did he get the audacity? <laughs> it's the audacity for me. Ladies, just imagine if I had actually gone through with it, just to keep him happy. Imagine I went in for a reduction only for Mr. Let's Change You to eventually break up with me as he did. Because yes, he eventually broke up with me. Where would I have gotten my breast back from? Where exactly would I have found my breast then? Ha! I'd be standing there with a smaller chest and an even bigger story to tell. But honestly, jokes aside, this story isn't about a clueless guy. It's about loving yourself first. You know, I get a lot of messages from young girls asking me about self-confidence. They see me on TV and uh, they love my confidence and they just want to be like me. You know what? You can be a better version of yourself. But about confidence, I'm going to tell you how. We can all take suggestions, you know, sure. But it's our bodies and our choice. Confidence comes from being at peace with who you are. So... For my busty beauties out there who feel like society's got a list of what we should change, ignore it, okay? Love yourself, love the body you're in, and wear that confidence proudly. Because trust me, no one wears it better than you. Today, we are here to talk about something that might seem a little cheeky, but it's incredibly real. Busting the meat about busty girls. And I'll just say it, apparently, some people believe that having a fuller chest automatically means you must be promiscuous. Yes, and guess what? They're wrong, totally wrong. You see, being bossy means you often become a kind of social magnet. People stare, they stare a lot. Sometimes it's admiration, but a lot of times it's unwanted attention. And while we're simply minding our own business, People feel compelled to make assumptions or even better, share their own thoughts. I mean, I don't remember asking for anyone's input on my body. But unsolicited comments seem to pop up like spam emails. The classic one is, oh, she must have a sugar daddy. Oh, really? Since when did a bra size determine my wallet size? It's when someone sees you out with a friend or even a family member and automatically assumes it must be your sugar daddy. It's people projecting stories onto you that have nothing to do with your actual character. Absolutely nothing to do with your character. And let's not forget, apparently every busty girl must have a sore back. <laughs> I laugh in German. Yeah, someone really once pointed to my back and said, oh, poor thing, that must hurt. Excuse you, 
Are you a doctor? If so, then I expect a free consultation next time. Or the, you should cover up more. Who asked you? Who? Another curious assumption we deal with is that we somehow lack intelligence. Hey, when did these people just get all of this from? Because of course, if you have a large chest, there is just no room left in your body for brains. <laughs> Newsflash, intelligence doesn't get packed away in the bus. And I'm sure I could tell a few of these people a thing or two about intellectual depth. Though they might be too busy staring to listen. But you know, there is a deeper issue here. And I've received messages from young girls who are feeling insecure because society has burdened them with these misconceptions. Some are worried they will be judged as promiscuous or too bold simply because of the way they look. And it's heartbreaking, honestly. No young girl should have to feel uncomfortable in her own skin or like she has to shrink herself to fit someone else's limited ideas. No. So to all the young girls out there, especially my younger sisters who are still navigating this maze, hear me when I say your worth is not tied to anyone's shallow perceptions. You're free to be intelligent, ambitious, and dignified without letting the assumptions of others weigh you down. We don't owe anyone an explanation for our bodies and we certainly don't owe anyone an apology for standing tall, shoulders back, and walking with confidence. And to everyone else, a quick PSA. Maybe it's time we all looked beyond appearances. There is so much more to women than the measurements that society loves to put on display. Let's celebrate people for who they are, not for the assumptions we make based on how they look. So, busty girls, let's keep our heads high and our humor higher. After all, when life gives you curves, you learn to steer them in the right direction. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. What are your thoughts about this video? I'd like to know. Do you want more videos like this? I'd like to know. Kindly drop in the comment section. Please click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. Okay? Thank you. Give me a big thumbs up by clicking on the like button and share this video. Thank you so much. Till I come your way again, let the conversation continue.